congratulations on season two. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. I just got to watch an episode. Um, it's a, it's such a fun show. Um, talk a little bit about what's in store for Lacey this season. Well, this season, there's so much in store. You know, as people know who have seen season one, Lacey has accrued a lot of enemies. And this season, the enemies are closing in on her and they are after her. <laughs> the FBI is after her. Um, some of her, you know, people she's kind of not screwed over, but when you, you know, when you show favoritism and get people out of stuff, uh, you're going to create a lot of, a lot of enemies. So they're coming for her this season. Um, you're going to get to see a lot of Lacey's vulnerable side, which you didn't get to see last season. You're going to see her family, more of her family life in the home, uh, things like that. Yeah. I mean, she's having some problems, uh, in the domestic situation with, uh, yeah. Her daughter with all this stuff going going on. Um, talk a little bit about playing that that more sort of personal side of Lacey. Um, what did what did you have to access to to do that? It's kind of a dream for an actor to be able to to play like to play an arc, you know, where you have you get to play this powerful bad chick who just can get anything done and solve everyone's problems except her own. And and then you, you get to a breakdown. You know what I mean? You have to access like painful parts of your life to be able to bring out those emotions and relate them to what's going on with Lacey. You know, it, she's in danger of losing her daughter. You know, that's a, the scariest thing ever, you know? So um, you have to access a lot of your own, you know, we all go through ups and downs and things in our lives. So sometimes you have to look at those very dark places and say, you know, I know how Lacey feels because I've gone through something similar or, you know, something even different, but can I can help you access those same emotions. So um, I pull inspiration from a lot of places, um, some personal life and some, some things you have to just, you know, look at the script and just be creative and say, you know, how would I feel if I were really in this situation? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. do you have a, a favorite scene from season two yes from what i've seen so far, all the episodes i've seen a little bit more than the public but i haven't seen all of them but so far so far i love the whole episode one that just that i love that episode um and episode three which is coming on this thursday tomorrow it's dropping there is an explosive scene where, you know, I'm not going to give it away, but just know, you'll know when you see it. <laughs> That's one of my favorite scenes. And fun fact, that was actually the first thing that we shot when we, when I got there, uh, landed on set uh, in LA. The first scene that I did was that explosive scene. It was like about three or four pages of dialogue monologue. It was a very like intense, heavy scene. And, you know, it shows, but that was the first thing that we shot. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite moment sort of behind the scenes that, you know, maybe you'll look back 10 years from now and think about uh, season two from that? You know, there are so many, so many of the, so much of the fun stuff happens like when you're off, when you're, when you're not actually recording, you know, like I would say like 90% of it is like when you're not recording, it's just have, that's why it's so important to have like such a fun, engaging crew and cast um, the jokes that, you know, that like the, the script supervisor, we would just tell jokes the whole time, like as we were like supposed to be doing our jobs, like the hair and makeup team, all the the music and dancing behind the scenes, the TikToks and stuff that we were creating, like all that stuff is just, that's the fun part, you know? The acting is fun too, it's amazing, but like some of the acting is just like very intense. You have to know your stuff, you have to know everything and be on point. But when you get to just like kick back when you're done for the day and you're like, you know, I come into the chair with my music jamming and dancing, like the hair and makeup trailer. And we just, we just like, you know, jam out. And that's the fun part to me. Some of the funnest part. Do you like to dance on set after? Yes. After you do a scene? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, um, so in, in terms of working with the other actors, um, you know, is there uh a scene for you that was, you know, talk about maybe like something that in particular that shows something about your character that you really wanted to, to um, get across to the audience that maybe they didn't know. Mm -hmm. I think this season 
does a great job of just, like I said, showing Lacey's vulnerable side, which you haven't really seen in the past. Um, I think that it shows that, you know, Lacey is human. Lacey does have a heart, you know, where she was so cold in the first season and so calculated with everything. And it was nice to kind of just show that she has a vulnerable side, vulnerable side too. And, you know, she's a mom, she, you know, you see her like singing to her daughter, happy birthday. You see her like, you know, arguing with her husband, um, you know, things that just make her human. You know, those are the things that are when you, when, when you're creating a character, because, you know, like this, this person, Lacey McCullough is a person, you know, she's a character. She has a childhood. She has parents, she has memories, you know, she has. So um, in creating that, I think that, um, to, to be able to show that the human side of her is one of the, one of the really, you know, important things that I get to do in this season. And it's not, it's not even just with, with one particular scene or episode, but um, just to see like the highs and lows throughout the season, it's like, it's kind of an ongoing thing. You're going to see cliffhangers. You're going to see um, low moments where you think it can't get any lower and then it goes lower you know, and those are the things that are just interesting to play, to be able to create the character and, you know, stay true to that character and say, OK, what would she do? You know, and this say, what would she do now? What would I do? But what would the character do? You know, thanks for watching the You Interview channel with over 3000 original celebrity videos. We have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.